He's just walked past these railings here. Yes. Have a look at them. What do you think when you look at them? They're disgusting. <laughs> just a bit dirty, a bit scabby. If I tell you that they are Second World War stretchers. Wow. Wow. And it really is wow. Because even to this day, several estates all across London are still fenced in by Second World War stretchers. You can see here the curve just by the handle so you didn't place your patient directly on the ground. And what a great use for them to replace the missing fencing and railings from London's post Second World War estates. But you're never too far from the real use of these. This is a children's stretcher to carry the young, wounded and dead out of the rubble. Discussing London's civil defence forces in general, Admiral Evans was quite frank about it. In the run-up to war, huge quantities were ordered, with government experts foreseeing a city and its people about to be annihilated. The government's expecting that a war might begin with anything up to 3,000 tonnes of bombs in the, from, the, from the very, almost within hours of war being declared. Uh, at 50 casualties a tonne, that's you know, well over 100,000 casualties, 150,000 casualties. That's, you know, this, was, this is a vision of the apocalypse, really. And that's day one. And it might continue for months and months after. I mean, Britain expects anything up to 600,000 casualties the first two months. It was really a vision of the end of the world, I think. Thankfully, that scale of devastation never happened, but the bombs that did drop still killed thousands. You say with there, that's the one, yeah. Right at the start of the Blitz, 29 people died here on the Dog Kennel Hill estate in East Dulwich in one of the communal bomb shelters. The entrance to some you can still see today. Two high explosive bombs landed simultaneously on the entrance to the shelter and the whole of the 29 people in the shelter were killed. So that was a huge tragedy, wasn't it? That was a massive loss of life, so great um, that the King and Queen came down while the rescues uh, were going on um, and they were still removing bodies when the King and Queen arrived. For the 29 residents who died on this estate, a plaque commemorates their tragic loss. The stretchers also still bear testimony to the courage of wartime Londoners. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.